Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have such an important video for you today as we have finally seen that big move to the downside here on the Bitcoin chart that we have been ready and waiting for coming down here towards $53,000 currently. In today's video, I want to cover my bearish Elliott wave count, the major target that we have for this. And of course, the levels of support and resistance that we can be trading over the next few days here on Bitcoin. Oh, for me, this is a such a crucial, crucial, crucial area. It really is. Because if we start to lose such massive levels of support, that the downside really is, can be very extended. Let's just say that at a time and a month where, as you all know, like the, the month started off, everybody extremely bullish, started to break above $65,000. The whole world starts to go crazy. Obviously, for the people that aren't aware of this, already stems from... Um, you know, the moon boys getting ultra, you know, positive and, and fixated on a $98,000 Bitcoin by the end of November. My thought process was obviously this is not going to be the case. And uh, this is a this is a kind of a post that really emphasizes what we're going to be covering today. In April, I followed the green dots, red dots <laughs> uh, guys and longed at $63,000. Obviously, he lost 50%. In May, he joined Chart Champions, us. In November, he shorted $69,000. Well, there we go. That's what we're going to be going through today. <laughs> how, you, how you can get to such levels, how we can understand the charts. We're not going to be trading wild, crazy predictions, almost class as a dream. We're going to trade the charts. We're going to take the highest probability trades, and we will end with making money. And we do not make money by hoping, dreaming, wishing for the best. And we can make money in Bitcoin right now by trading the absolute technical levels that we have. Levels are very well respected. Obviously, some people have laughed at me for suggesting we could be in a bear market, for suggesting lower prices. Obviously, we're here today with lower prices. So I hope you can start to see what we're covering here is very much real and it can very much assist you as long as you pay attention and understand how we get to such ideas. So I'm going to educate you in that with uh, today. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy. And as mentioned, I am going to be covering my Elliott wave count, which obviously dictates price action right here and going forwards. I want to spend two or three minutes just covering this swing failure pattern here and then the rejection that led us down. So I'm going to keep, keep this as quick as possible. You might be able to tell I'm struggling with a cold and a massive sore throat. So I don't want this video to be too long. But for me, it was... Uh, I, 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 I believe there are going to be people in need. There are going to be people struggling emotionally with this move. So I kind of felt the need kind of to make this, even though I'm not sure my body or my doctors are going to be happy with it. But there we go. I want to talk you through briefly this swing failure pattern here. OK, um, again, this is obviously a liquidity run. You know, you can write down these sort of notes. Bitcoin is drawn to liquidity and Bitcoin is drawn to reckon the majority of people. If the majority of people are expecting a move, if the stop losses are placed in a in a large you know area, price is drawn towards these areas to stop people out, to wreck the majority, and so the minority actually make money. Yeah, it's the same cycle over and over again. You know, you hear you hear the statistics in the overall market context of 95% of people lose money. It doesn't surprise me in the slightest. 95% of people are losing money. Why? Because they get so bullish on every single rise, and they get so bearish on every single drop. Okay? You do not want to do that. You want to be looking for shorts on the rises. You want to be looking for longs on the drops. Okay? And so this is kind of a, an idea that I had. Obviously, I, I even mentioned this in the public video. Um, this was from within my group. <laughs> I kind of posted in my group uh, in the champions section. I said, hey, if I if I had to take a bet here, I'm, I'm going to bet that we come down and take these lows before a swing failure pattern rise in price. This is from the same um, public YouTube video. I was mentioning about that swing failure potential, taking these lows, moving up in price. And it actually went exactly as predicted. Um, we come down, We you can see here, swing failure pattern, SFP. We come down, we take those lows. And at this point, you're granted a long opportunity, yeah? You've seen the lows taken. It's make the plan. You know, I think I've emphasized well enough that what the plan is here. And then it's wait for the reaction, okay? So if price had just come down below this level and continued downwards, there would have been no trade. But because we have seen the swing failure pattern, that gives us our entry. And we've made the plan, we've waited for the reaction, we've seen a positive reaction, so we need to take the trade. No hesitation, no scared, you know, we're not scared, we're not 
no 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 emotions here we're just trading what we're given yeah we're making the plan and then we're trading the plan okay this was obviously the reaction off of it very very nice reaction but from that swing failure pattern you can see the move was extremely quick yes of course now we're back down below fifty five thousand dollars overall you need to know where to take profits you need to know where to switch back into shorts but to say these sort of trades are not extremely profitable would, would be a mistake okay and again trade what happens as you all know my resistance level was obviously around the monthly we temporarily for a few minutes got above the monthly it's obviously an extremely quick high percentage volatile move to the upside okay we saw that move after the swing failure pattern but what what happened next well again uh we actually saw it basically in my opinion reject off that monthly again this monthly we were looking at as the resistance Hey, that's obviously around $59,000. We had so much confluence, by the way, at 59k. It wasn't just this monthly. I had a lot of confluence here to, you know, to, to believe it would reject. Of course, we temporarily got through the level, but we very quickly lost it. And you know, we very quickly lost it. And in my opinion, um, you know, as posted in my in my Discord, I'm saying monthly, you know, this for me is a monthly rejection. Okay, that region where we have obviously a lot of resistance. We have briefly got through it in what can only be described as a stop hunt. And now we're back down below the level, e.g. We, we have lost it, okay? So if we are trading sensibly, you can see what I'm saying here. You know, if we've long the swing failure pattern at 56K down here, it then gets an extremely quick rise to above the monthly to liquidate the late shorters down here to get people bullish up into resistance, okay? But then we lose the level. If we had moved above, that tested, moved up again, that would have been the level holding. But upon seeing, the, you know, upon seeing people getting way too bullish up at the highs, upon seeing the level lost, there's no reason to remain in that long. So I'm telling people here, you know, you can take profit on the long, at least a percentage, and enter a short trade. Yeah. Uh, hit the likes if you want more education. I'll say that now. Hit the likes if you enjoy me talking you through these moves. Just to, again, I'm talking you through moves that have happened here. So you can, you can start to learn. You know, we're, we're trading these things every single day. Every day. Um, you know, and once you start to educate yourself and learn about this, you know, you, you're in such an advantageous position. You really are. So I hope it's helpful anyway. Uh, for me, it's helpful. <laughs> um, so yeah, we obviously saw a swing failure pattern, pump above the monthly, but then overall, we start to get people really bullish up into resistance. We lose that level. And well, that's where we got to trade the charts, trade what's happening now. Okay, and that is a loss of the level. We can we can kind of see how this progressed, actually. This is the loss of that monthly. We make our way down, we make our way down, we make our way down. And we actually ended with another swing failure pattern here. Okay, so when you take this on the low, this was a double bottom. And then we obviously do a swing failure pattern. Okay, so kind of simple, the exact same setup that we had here, we had at the overall low. And this is granting you another long trade, to be fair. Okay, obviously overall, we're not holding on to the same longs. We hit take profits. But we can see here, swing failure pattern. We back test the daily, pretty much the dollar. Again, these are not new levels. These are levels that we've had on our charts for months. We come back, we back test the daily after the swing failure pattern. We see a rise in price. Okay, and that brings us up to where we start to, uh, you know, get on to now. And that is obviously looking at, um, you know, the Elliott Wave count. So I've had an Elliott Wave count. Um, obviously, originally went through this you know, quite a while ago, gave an update of my Elliott Wave count during Sunday's Champions live stream. And now here, you for the public video, you can obviously see it and how it's how it really has progressed very nicely. Originally, with the Wave 1 down off of our $69,000 level, we put in our Wave 2. Okay, here with actually an expanded flat. So we go A, B, C. We move our way down to form what, in my, my opinion, was Wave 3, and I was after the Wave 4. I remember doing my video on Sunday's live stream saying, I do not think that this is the way four. Why? Because it's way too quick. Okay, this was unlikely to be the top of way four. And we actually did manage to put in that range for what is known as a running flat. Okay, actually, I would class this as a WXY and an ABC, but it gives us the same answer, way four. Okay, we put in our A, we put in our B, we put in our C. Okay, this is a running flat because the C falls below the A. Okay, so it's, it's actually classed as very bearish, to be honest with you. Um, where did we put the high of, of this of this wave? Well, again, it's actually very, 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 very technical. As you well, as you can see from the picture, we ju jump up into the CC. But look, 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 just look at this for accuracy. Yeah? Just look at this. No random pivots. 
So if we, well, this is obviously based off of that range that we are in. Let me show you this. So we're overall looking at this as a, as a type of range. And when we pull our Fibonacci from the high of, you know, the start of the range, we could say, the for the top from the, that weekly. So take your Fib from that weekly to the low that was obviously put in. And you can see that we come up into the CC here. Okay, so we come straight up into that CC level of resistance. And I want to show you here what the confluence is. So obviously we had that high to the low of the CC. And also when we took a fixed range of the exact same range, because this is you know, this is a range that we're envisaging. This was the start of the consolidation. You can see this is the quick move down. This is where we start to consolidate. So when we took the fixed range of the start of the consolidation in with that CC, you can see here, look at this, the value area high. Okay, the value area high in confluence. Oops with that CC. Okay, so I, I just really think it's, it's, it's um, many people are going to think it's magical, many people are going to, you know, they're going to have different opinions on it. But when you can start to say to yourself, hey, we're in a range bound environment, we're coming up to the value area high, we're coming up into the CC. Um, I mean, you, you have lower term time frame trades down here, you can be scalping around here. But look at the overall context that we're in right now. We are overall in a downtrend. Okay, that is very much evident when you start to even look at things like this. I remember talking about in the video of called "How We in a Bear Market." You know, the third first thing that we're referring to here is market structure, lower highs and lower lows, resistance, you know, support flips, standard stuff. You can see here a continuous lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. This actually still built a lower high even up against this high. By the way. It was still a lower high. So when you start to remember that this is still another lower high at the time, and it's into the CC, and we're into the value area high, um, you know, why would you, you know, I, I question, why would you get high term time frame bullish in here? Well, you really shouldn't, okay? Obviously, we can see the drop at the end of this, but not that difficult to acknowledge at least you don't long up in here, okay? Also, this move was during a Thanksgiving Strop market closed, gaps, etc. You know, you're likely to push down. So we can see we put in the wave, we put in the wave four, um, in my opinion, anyway. And it's gone very nicely since then. We've obviously made our way down. And where's this target for the wave five? Well, there's a few targets, obviously, some lower. You can see here that we're looking at around $53,500. $53,500 to give us a standard wave, end of wave five. In my opinion, this might be a little bit too quick. Um, because obviously we need to we need to relate it to the start of wave one. This wave one, in my opinion, there was very quick. So that it's possible that the wave five is also very quick. But we can start to look at a few like key levels, so to speak, of the way down on, on the way down. Of course, you know we could say that the, the low of this consolidation. Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Oh, <laughs> I do not want to redo this video. Um, yeah, that would kill me. I've already been speaking 12 minutes. Uh, so yeah, obviously we can say, uh, you know, around 52,900, 52,900. We can say this is such a crucial level of support now. So 52,900, you can see I've got a key level marked here of 51,5550. So again, we can view this as a little bit of a zone. You know, people are going to question me, Daniel, um, you know, is it a good time to short down here? And my answer is always going to be no, even if let's just say we go down here and people are going to say, hey, Daniel, you said it was a bad time to short. Well, um, yes, actually, I would say that because the good times to short are here. Yeah, they're, they're, they're on the rises. Yeah, this is not a good time to short, even though overall we came down lower. Why? Because there's a massive bounce before this. It's like, yeah, is this a good time to short? Well, in my opinion, no, because I just do not short after a really big move to the downside. <laughs> I'm looking for my shorts on the rises, period. Yeah, You're, you're never, ever, ever, ever going to see me short when, when prices move down 10% in one day. Why? Well, I'm the type of trader that will cause those 10% moves down. Yeah? So it's just like, you know, use a little bit of common sense, uh, I suppose. <laughs> I don't mean to be mean, but um, yeah, one has to know a good time to long and a good time to short. And in my perspective, the way I trade, my mythology, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you're never going to catch me shorting after a ten after a ten percent move down. Even though, yeah, we could move down twenty percent. I just just not my style of trading. I'm I'm not going to short here, yeah, because I recognise that we're each in an area of support. Yes, it can be lost, but you know, let's wait and see what happens.
okay so i think that we can say that we're definitely in that zone of support from that you know really from that 53 500 you know and there's a bit of a zone yeah i, I acknowledge this down to 51 5, 5, 50. and it's like one of these things i've been saying do you want to just buy the dip 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 now people have been saying buy the dip for the whole of november why because they think we're going to ninety-eight thousand dollars, or do you just want to wait for a market structure change do you want to wait for a sign of strength which we have not seen we just have not seen it uh, you know, many people are throwing away their money. Literally, they're throwing away their money. They're losing money. They're getting liquidated. Why? Because they are trading this bias that they just magically think Bitcoin, they put it on such a pedestal. You know, people are scared to short Bitcoin. Uh, people are just, they put it, honestly, people are so, and I kind of understand it, I suppose, because, yeah, I kind of do understand it. But nevertheless, like, if you're scared to short Bitcoin, you're just missing on so much opportunity and i know some people like you know we obviously have a lot of us customers you know they, they they can only trade spot but thankfully they've learned to sell their spot at resistance and, and buy back their spot at support so it's like yeah okay maybe you cannot short bitcoin but at least you can you know you can sell some of your spot at resistance and to get rid of this pedestal i did i can never sell bitcoin because it's always going to go up yeah maybe in another five years it's going to be up in price but what happens for each 30 percent retracement yeah you can make 30 percent more bitcoin if you're okay to head you're okay to short yeah i'm bullish on bitcoin long term but a majority of my trades are short <laughs> yeah um anyway um yeah for me, for me it's just really 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 important to um really just remind people i suppose sometimes people just need the reminder of let's mark out our levels yeah let's just mark out our levels on the chart when price drops do not be fearful do not be scared remind yourself have you got a level of support in this zone if yes start to look for your longs do not look for shorts of support do not look for longs of resistance yeah i mentioned this every single video um okay so now where are some key levels to the upside which we could say would be a sign of strength well of course we got this daily above us if we start to reclaim this is not on a five minute chart but if we start to reclaim this on a higher term time frame four plus then of course this is going to look pretty nice it would show a nice deviation from this range low yeah so i, I would refer to this as sign of strength if it happens on the weekend yeah it's obviously not as nice because then we're going to open with a big cme gap so we can actually see in my opinion what i would personally do here is monitor this over the next one and a half hours as we go into the us open okay so the us open how in depth do i want to go in this video uh we'll talk about this briefly um obviously the es futures is the stock market um uh, uh e-mini futures contracts s p 500 es not es one exclamation mark really 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 helpful for the heads up uh, a lot of people right now of course are going to be saying hey we're moving down because of a coronavirus variant or hey we're moving down because of x y and z reason you know i'm going to say hey i don't care the reason of what you think of why we're moving down you know because i'm short <laughs> No, it's, it's like, who cares about the news? Who cares about this? Like, trade the charts for real. Trade the charts. And you can be in on those shorts and not getting scared about X, Y, and Z reason that the news articles are going to tell you. Propaganda left, right, and center, I'm sure. But, um, you know, where I'm going with this is <clears throat> the stock market is a really great heads up. Yeah, it's a really great heads up. We had a heads up on the drop. And now if the ES can start to you know change some market structure here and get back above i, I want to say i would i'd like to see it get back above 4660 points okay that would equal very nicely with bitcoin you know potentially reclaiming that fifty six thousand dollar daily level okay so where i'm what i'm saying with this is you can start to get heads up on moves by tracking the stock market even though you're only trading bitcoin okay i use this daily and it's a very 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 helpful tool OK, so it doesn't matter the reason which the news articles are going to say, oh, it dropped because of this. We're going to say, no, it dropped because of this. And, you know, we're trading the charts. It doesn't matter what the news says. Yeah, news is late to everything. So uh, there's always a reason why something will drop. OK, so, um, yeah, this 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 kind of emphasizes for me myself the way when I'm looking at this. OK, I have important levels of support i have important levels of resistance this is all i need to formulate a plan it's all i need to formulate a plan like this one i only need to know i only needed to know i was looking i only needed to know i was looking for a swing failure pattern i see the swing failure pattern i take a trade i make money i'm only learn looking for a loss of the monthly i see a loss of the monthly i take the trade i make money on the drop I'm able to make money on the rises, on the drops. Why? Because I have very, very, very nice plans, to be honest with you. 
no, I have noticed plants. And now I'm really happy to say, I know the, the reason why we bounced where we have right now, but I understand actually this could be a very short term trade on the long because we can absolutely drop more here. How would I understand to myself thinking in a probabilistic manner? How are we likely to say to ourselves price is no longer likely to go down and we can actually start to look for strength? Well, at the very least, it's going to be a reclaim of the daily. Then, of course, we can start to move back into the old range that we were trading. Yeah, this old range that we were trading. You know, we can start to then look up into our value area. Oh, look at this. So perfect. Value area low, lining up with that daily. Value area high was lining up with that CC. Then we got the point of control. Oh, we can already start to imagine how technical this could be. Okay. So this daily is absolutely key. If we start to see acceptance above this, we can look back up to the point of control and value area highs. If we reject off of this, well, we actually, we can start to look down towards that $51,000. Yeah. It's really, 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 really enjoyable. And I know I don't have the same energy as normal, but I, it's just because, you know, I'm a little bit ill. Uh, but inside my heart, I, I'm very energetic and I'm very happy, but I'm also a little bit ill right now, so it's hard to show. But um, yeah, for, for me, I just felt really compelled to make this video because I personally think there is going to be a lot of people suffering. There is going to be a lot of people angry, upset, depressed because of such a drop. Yeah, and my, my 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 want of this video is to to really um, explain. You do not need to be upset. You do not need to be depressed. You need to educate yourself. You need to under. You need to learn to, to trade technical levels. You need to you need to wipe out some of these like moonboy thoughts and you know there's money to be made when Bitcoin's dropping. Period. And that, that, that's what I'd say. And it actually lead, leads me very nicely into. Uh, a section today that I would I was hesitant to talk about to be honest with you I was kind of hesitant but um, I also feel compelled to talk about it so I'm going to and it, it leads uh, you know based off of feedback people actually really enjoyed listening about it so um, I hope you enjoy it this week too but it le leads me on basically from last week um, towards the end of the video um, you know I, I personally like to uh, maybe we could talk, talk, yeah, I don't know the right word, inspire, bring smiles, I don't know. Um, you can make that decision for yourself. But it relates on from last week where we were, I was talking about, again, this is slightly off of the technicals, but um, I think it's needed to talk about. I like to talk about it. And it's it was that, that talk, let's say, um, about obviously the need of respecting others, the need of you know, being nice and treating others equally. And in, in, in a time, you know, I will try and bring it back to trading to keep it interesting for you. In a time where today many people are going to be struggling, yeah, many people are going to be upset on this drop, okay? So how can we help out these people that are upset? Well, we can tell them not just, hey, everything's going to be all right with like blindless claims. Hey, Bitcoin's going to 100K. Everything's going to be all right. Do not worry. Well, that's not really going to help anybody. <laughs> Let's be honest, because they're suffering because of the amount of money they've lost. But we can assist these people by... You know, letting them understand why this has happened and how you can actually change this from happening going forwards. Yeah. So if you can understand, hey, I lost all this money because I didn't place a stop loss. Hey, I lost all this money because I was so blindsided. Hey, I lost all this money because I was longing into resistance. You know, if you can start to understand the problem, well, then you can start to work on the on on the on the on the cure or the fix, I suppose. Okay. So that's kind of bringing it back to trading. But obviously, my my what I was talking about last week was when I was. And I had the I refer to it as the unfortunate experience of uh, <laughs> of being in an event with 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 some of the Moon Boys, and um, you know you can pause the screen, I suppose, pause the video for five you know five or however long it takes you to read this because I'm, I'm not going to read this out, but um, you know just I guess I can paraphrase or, or summarize here, and it just was really meaningful to my heart because I think you can honestly tell a lot from a person by how they treat people that work in services such as, you know, waiters, customer service, etc. Um, you know, you can really, 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 really tell a lot. And, you know, a lot of people lately have been, Daniel, why are you so mean on the Moon Boys? Why are you picking on them? Um, you know, I'm not, I guess I kind of am, I suppose. I'm not, picking on them is is a way that you could refer to it as, I suppose. But it's more as, it's more so I'm really, um, I've seen firsthand in the flesh how they act and, uh, you know, their, their, their business model is, is inciting people to take these leveraged trades, shorting at support, longing at resistance, and they're making money off of 
other people losing money. So it's very, it's very, it's almost, it's obviously not illegal, but it's an evil, let's say this, maybe it's an evil way of making money, you know, making money out of other people's misfortunes. And people do not recognize this, people cannot see it. Um, and so yeah, that kind of annoys me, but I've never took such a stance. But after seeing in real life, their, their attitudes, you know, disrespect, being rude to, to people that, everybody's human i think everybody's equal yeah you have to treat everybody kindly and to see firsthand like people down talking to the waiters being extremely rude yeah this for me was like yeah i i want to try and make some sort of stance because i feel it in my heart as if as if i should so uh you can let me know in like the comments down below uh do, do you think again I'm, it's not like i'm taking you know what i take half an hour out of my day to write something up talk about it yeah it's not a lot of time but would you like me to not don't know whether expose is the right word but make people aware obviously i'm doing it quite a lot in the in the discord group but i suppose in a more public stance again i'm kind of aware of, of the of the pros and cons for myself personally yeah? but i just under kind of am intrigued by whether people are interested or not you can let me know down below but for me, it's something close to my heart, the way that people would, yeah, I just feel, I feel it's not right. And I feel that it is something that should be talked about. And it kind of leads me on really, really uh, warmly, I suppose. And I hope you view, view the positives of this. But um, I'm just trying to keep half an eye here on Bitcoin. Obviously, we're coming back down maybe towards the local CC. Uh, we'll t keep an eye on this. Let's go to the one minute chart. And this is nice. We can, we can do some talking. And we can also monitor Bitcoin at the same time. <laughs> uh, let me just really trip. So this is what I like to do. I like to check the order flow. Uh, we're going to need to come down in a little bit of time frame. Oh, I'm struggling with my throat. Um, okay, so we have like no no divergences right now. And I'd like to look at this. Obviously, open interest picking up. Nothing massively, but so you know the open interest here. You can start to see increasing um uh it's a bit mixed some shorts some longs nothing nothing absolutely amazing and this doesn't surprise me so much i, I personally think in maybe one hour's time we get the volume injections with the, with the u.s market opens uh this is a one hour 10 minutes time uh but yeah i think at the moment it would seem as if we can come down for this cc retest no reason to think that we're going, not going to see that at the moment okay um let me just see this. Yeah, so the, the, this volume is not really enough for me to get excited at the moment. Yeah. So um, anyway, where was I? Where was I? I, I just get in. I just love to check these things. So um, what was I going to say? Ah, uh, yeah. So this is something. Obviously, after talking about it in, in in my Discord group, uh, you know what I feel about the way we should treat people and and respect. There was a, a reply by the legend Stefan that I met for the first time in, in Madeira. And um, again, I hate myself talking about any type of charitable work. I will never, ever, ever uh, do something charitable and then tell everybody on the Internet. Yeah, this is just not my not my this is just not how I am. I think if you want to help someone, you help them. Uh, I think if you. Yeah, yeah i'm just very much uh this is what i was really do i talk about this do i not because i'm really I, i'm not against it per se but i i think it just feels really fake maybe uh if you do charitable work or help people and then you feel the need to expose it i think you want to help people because you want to help people you don't you don't need a pat on the back from somebody else so yeah this is something that i would never ever ever have even mentioned i mean this happened months ago but as someone else mentioned it i thought hey you know, I can expand upon this because now everybody knows. Um, and it was actually quite a heartwarming the response. But again, you can pause and read this bit of the post. But basically, it was uh, it was the post from Stefan from when we were in Madeira. And, you know, basically just helping out, you know, just helping out a fellow a fellow person in, in need. Um, and I feel it was like a really beautiful, I mean, the responses were brilliant. Um, but I, I kind of felt, you know, Yes, this has been shared in the champions group, but I can share this publicly, I suppose, not because I want any any pounds pats on the back, but hopefully you can see the positives in this, and maybe it will, it will almost make you inspired to help out another another person. Maybe maybe that would be the aim of this, I suppose. 
I'd just like to really briefly read this out. Or I suppose you can pause. Shall I read? I'll read this out very briefly, yeah? Yeah, I think we have some time here. So I'm just going to read this out. Um, you know, it is funny that you mention it because I myself help, hate talking about everything charitable that I do. I would never have spoken about it. I believe if you want to help, you just do it without needing to impress anyone. But because you truly want to help. Help others without any and wanting anything in return. But as you have mentioned it, I will share this special photo as we uh, that we took together. Uh, funnily enough, the, the the man, you know, very poor in English. Let's be honest, <laughs> basically no English. But he was referring to me as his best friend, giving me lots of kisses on the cheek. You know, just really, 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 really happy. Ba basically, for the the story or backstory, I suppose is a bit. Basically, the guy is um homeless guy. You know, nobody really wants to talk to him. And you know, we took him under our wing, I suppose, and you know, become friends, and yeah, it was, it was really heartwarming to be, to be honest with you, it was very, very nice, but um, uh, we go back to the story, uh, I suppose overall, I just want to emphasize how, how good it is to help another person, you know, I guess I'm going to just summarize this, I'm not going to read it word for word, to be honest, um, you know, basically, we're in a massive time of needs, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people struggling inside of trading, and in, in the world in general, you know, we, or I suppose not everybody, but some of us here, I'm sure watching this as well, are, are in privileged positions where we can give back, we can help out the, to the best of our abilities. And, and I suppose even if you watch this video today as an absolute beginner, maybe you you have been absolutely wrecked, like the hundreds of stories that I'm reading recently that you have got wrecked by following the mood boys, by following red and green dots. A lot of people have lost money recently. Um... You know, so if you're in that situation, I would always say this, you do not need to to spend your money to help another person. Yeah, you can listen to them. You know, I think listening is one of the best things. You, you know, listen to somebody's story, you know, put an arm around them, help them read, listen, interact, you know, just a simple conversation. You know, this truly can change somebody's day. Truly, it truly can change somebody's, somebody's day, somebody's week, maybe their life, you know, if they're really, really down, um, you know, Form a friendship. It costs absolutely nothing, and it really can mean the world to a lot of people. Um, so yeah, I just, I just felt really uh, like compelled. And this is, this is the photo. Um, again, this was months ago. I would honestly just never have even mentioned this to anybody if it wasn't for Stefan mentioning it. But for me, it was just like, hey, um, you know, after seeing that some of the reactions and people were really heartwarmed by it, it was just like an, a really kind of yeah, just felt just felt very nice obviously at the time when you're doing these things you do it because you want to help someone and also it does give you a warm feeling in your heart you know you can you can spend your money on i don't know you can go spend your money on a private jet or you can spend your money on other things it's kind of up to you i suppose at the end of the day how you want to spend your money but i think it's very important not to get overridden by greed yeah greed is a uh, very dangerous in my opinion um so yeah, where, where was I? Where was I going with these stories? <laughs> well, I suppose I bring it back. I think first of all, why am I kind of against the Moon Boys? Well, I've seen firsthand how how rude and didn't this and oh man, I try and be clever, disingenuous. Uh, da, 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 they are, and for me, it kind of feels mm, not nice. Maybe, um, yeah, I feel it's very rude, and. You know, this is why I have uh, like a personal feud against them at the moment, not for any other reasons. Well, I guess also I don't really like their business practice, but it is on the side. Um, and yeah, then I, I personally have so much. Um, I, I think you would class it as amazing, maybe uh, like charitable work that I do. And again, I am really, really, really hesitant to talk about anything about it because I do not want people to really think hey Daniel you have to remember I've been doing this for, for, for years and years and years and years since I started making money yeah but do, would you be interested maybe uh about hearing about some of this stuff um some of the work that I'm doing some of you know we are I don't want to maybe say it but we're doing some pretty amazing stuff um yeah basically just giving back as much as possible um I am, I have some really personal massive goals and uh, yeah, I cannot really say too much because I just kind of don't want to at this stage, but I'm basically just doing some of <laughs> what I think anyway. And I think people would think would be like, wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Basically, we're just doing some really charitable stuff right now. So I don't know. 
if people are interested in some of the stuff that we do, let me know because I, I I'm definitely never going to talk about it unless people want to. Uh, people are interested because yeah, you know, for me it just sits the wrong way. But after seeing the reactions, maybe maybe it would be nice. But please let me know down below if you think I should talk about this or not. Because I'm I'm in a rock in a hard place. I, I'm not too sure. Personally, I'm very proud and very happy, but I also know that it comes off as a bit. Hey, why is this guy talking about it? Yeah, 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 I'm sure you all understand my point here. Yeah. So yeah, you can let me know in the description down below whether you think I should continue with this or just stick to the charts. I'm sure there will be maybe a bit of a mixed opinion. Um, but overall. Yeah, I, I, I suppose I just hope this video was extremely helpful for you. We have talked about Bitcoin. We have talked about the levels. We've talked about the Elliott wave count. We've talked about the current range. We know levels to reclaim. We know levels to look for if we continue down. We have basically covered for every scenario right now. So I feel for Bitcoin, you know, we, we, we're, we're ready for it. Yeah, we're, we're ready for anything to happen. And this is the advantage. We're not only looking for longs. We're not only looking for shorts. We are able to play the market in whichever the highest probability is and when that clicks when when you rewire your brain to think in such a way no oh, it's magical it, it kind of feels like it's magic it's it's, it's it's lovely what can i say um yeah and then I've, I've ended the video um you know in my own personal way i suppose of you know just reminding people hey you know Moon boys can lose their lose their vision of the world, lose their you know lose their marbles maybe, and just reminding people, hey, everybody's equal. For myself, and I'm sure the majority of my viewership watching this, it's important to just remember this. Remind ourselves every single day, we are all the same. Nobody is better than other people. Nobody is worse than anybody else. If you see people being disrespectful. I personally think you should do, do something about it. It's like, as you see here on my post, I had to get up, call them out, apologize to the waiter, even though I was doing nothing of the sort, it still felt bad seeing the look in their eyes that they can get sacked for this. They can lose their job. You know, that just literally wreck somebody's whole life. And for these people to just do it with, without a care in the world, thinking they're above them because they have some money. Man, um, uh, yeah, I, I could get, I, I could talk another 10 minutes about this. I'm not going to though, but yeah, just remind, remember this, please, 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 please. If you see something in the world, you've got to do something. Well, in my opinion, you should do something about it. Um, and then, yeah, if you're interested in some of the stuff that we, or maybe primarily just myself, if you want to know some of the stuff that, we're do, that I'm doing, what some of my plans for, you know, I am giving away. Oh, I don't want to say it because, yeah, I'm not going to say it. If you're interested, let us know down below, please. I will, I suppose, talk about it. Maybe I'll be really awkward, but hey, I'm an awkward person, so uh, what could I say? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much. I truly hope this video has assisted you on the trades, on the charts, and hopefully maybe just, you know, I, you don't need to know this. I'm not trying to preach, but just like a reminder, I suppose, of, hey, let's spread love and um, call out when we see something wrong, I suppose. That's me signing out. Thank you ever so much, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, remember, remember. We are at a support zone. We do not short support. We do not long resistance. CC Paul, <laughs> send their regards, send their love and everything in between. Thank you ever so much. Of course, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, just a trader that loves to share. So thank you ever so much. Have a great day. And that's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.